Hello! This time for testing we have a graphic accelerator with original cooling system, high quality circuitry and factory overclocking. We are going our acquaintance with various modifications of high quality NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 and this time we are going to tell about the new product from the company Palette, namely GeForce GTX 960 Super Jet Stream. The box of a product features handle for easy transportation. The traditional design of video cards from Pallet Jetstream contains black and golden colors. All the most interesting information is placed on the reverse side of the flip cover. On the basis of these recommendations, the video card requires power supply capacity at least 400 watts and one 6-pin PCIe cable for additional power supply. Package of graphics card includes manual, software CD, adapter for video card power and adapter from DVI to DSUB. Pallet GeForce GTX 960 Super Jet Stream is made on a compact brown circuit board with a standard layout principle. Its element base consists of a solid state and polymer tantalum capacitors, ferrite chokes and chips DRMOS, which should positively affect the overclocking potential, stability and reliability of a new product. The power system is realized according four-phase scheme, where three phases provide power for the video core and one is designed for video memory. In order to provide the power of the graphics adapter, user has a slot PCI Express X16 and one 6-pin PCIe located on the side of the board. At the same time, cooler makes difficulties to access to this socket. The tested model is based on the graphics chips NVIDIA GM206300A1, manufactured according to 28 nanometer manufacturing process. It includes 1024 CUDA cores, 32 rasterization blocks and 64 texture units. As we have mentioned, the video card features factory overclocking of graphics core with frequencies of 1279 and 1342 MHz. In order to display an image, the manufacturer has provided slightly different set of interfaces – one DVI-I, one DVI-D, one HDMI, one display port. In addition to the original design, the cooling system stands out due to quite large dimensions. The video card, including installed cooling system, occupies two and a half expansion slots and has a total length of 247 mm according to the official website of the pallet and 259 mm as measured in our lab. The cooler consists of a sufficiently large heatsink that includes 35 aluminum nickel plated plates and two actual fans with 87 mm blades mounted on the plastic case. The blades have a special curved shape that allows them to generate a powerful airflow. Three copper heat pipes with a diameter of 6 mm each are applied to improve the heat exchange efficiency. Unfortunately, they are not coated with the nickel layer. But contact of heat pipes with radiator fins and copper base is improved using solder on one hand and hot melt glue on the other. A separate low-profile heat sink is used for cooling elements of power subsystem. In case of automatic speed control of fan blades under maximum load, the graphics core is heated to 71 degrees Celsius and the cooler is very quiet. Under the maximum fan speed, GPU temperature dropped to 56 degrees Celsius. The noise increased to the average level, but it was quite comfortable for extended use. In case of load absence, the frequency of the graphics core and memory is automatically reduced. Cooler operates quietly since the fan is not rotating through the use of the technology 0 dB tech. As a result, the efficiency and nice performance of the cooling system of model Pallet GeForce GTX 960 Super Jet Stream deserve only the highest rate. The only significant feature of the cooler is not the most modest dimensions. Don't forget that on the IT portal Gasset.com you can pick up opponents to the test video card and instantly get the results of testing. 
First of all, I want to note that Palette G4GTX 960 Super Jet Stream has a higher level of factory overclocking than modification from the ASUS, which allows it to be ahead by an average of 4%. As compared to the more expensive and productive neighboring lineup, namely GTX 970 and GTX 980, they were ahead by an average of 59% and 82% respectively. If you don't take into account the mod 4K Ultra HD, the luck of the death solution is reduced to 41 and 59%. As you can see, flagship models are better suitable for high resolutions, which is not quite surprising, taking account their memory bus and the overall computing power. The main competitor is a model AMD Radeon R9 285, but due to their significant factory overclocking, the hero of today's review appeared in the front of an average of 1% as a result of all the benchmarks and by 8% in tests Full HD. As you can see, the video card will be a great solution for all modern games in Full HD resolution at maximum graphics settings. As a result of testing the video card Pellet J4 GTX 960 Super Jet Stream, we can safely make quite clear conclusion that this modification is a very successful and deserves the attention of buyers who are looking for a high quality and efficient solution to build middle range gaming computer. Perhaps the main feature of novelty is its cooling system, which features a relatively large size, LED backlit, excellent performance and technology zero Tech. The last one provides silent operation in idle mode, so if your case houses free 2.5 expansion slot, Pellet J4 GTX 960 Super Jet Stream will be an excellent purchase to build a gaming system to full HD entertainment. A detailed review of video card is available on the iTube portal Gacy.com by clicking link in the video description. Good luck and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.